All right, guys, so this is the, the solution that I did for a focus overheating problem. This is definitely not for everybody. First of all, I'd seriously recommend trying the lowest possible thermostat you can find and see if that solves your problem. If it doesn't, I can show you what I've done. It may or may not work for you. So this is the top holes for the radiator, and I've inserted a Land Rover thermostat in that, in, in that hose. So this is coming from the engine goes into the thermostat and then we've got the top hose here for the radiator so basically I've just I've inserted the thermostat into the top hose <coughs> and then when the thermostat is closed there's another hose that comes out which is this one here and this diverts back into this front hose of the system and I believe this is from the heater core like I said this is a big patenta and it's definitely not for most people I think but this is what I had to do to get this car to stop from overheating I put a link to the original video in the video description so you can see exactly what my problem was but in summary whenever you accelerated the car would overheat but if it was sitting in traffic it would be no problem um, and I don't know if I mentioned it I took out the original thermostat so this is the only thermostat that's in the system now um, if I was going to do it again I would restrict the flow coming from the thermostat into this loop here because if it's really cold it does take a while to warm up so I'm not sure what I would do maybe find a hose that will insert inside of this hose to restrict the flow uh, with regards to what I've done here, you've, we've got a Y piece here, which I bought, don't ask me on the diameter, I don't remember. But it's a Y piece here, so all these three hoses have the same internal diameter. I used a plastic Y, but I'd recommend using a brass one, you can find them on AliExpress. And the hose from the thermostat does need a reducer in it to get it down to this internal diameter. So there's two hoses here, there's a join in the middle which is a reducer. Again, I don't remember the diameters, but I'll show you the part number for the thermostat. And you can see the dimensions of it. So basically what you'll need altogether is you'll need to cut the top hose to insert the thermostat. You'll need a bit of hose to come from the th thermostat this way. You'll need a reducer in that hose, another piece of hose here and a Y piece to tap it into the system and obviously all of the Jubilee clips and like I said so far I've got no, no issues with this with regards to water overheating but like I said the only issue is the the heat inside the car can take a very long time to warm up and I think that's because there's too much water flowing from the through this hose here on the factory system from originally from the factory there is no connection between the top holes and the heater circuit from what I can understand and the thermostat housing also does not have any um, connection to one another so I think Ford really want everything to go through the heater circuit until the engine is hot enough to uh, need the thermostat open and then it starts flowing so like I said maybe you restrict the flow on this and the heater will warm up um, a bit quicker in winter like I said guys, big patenta, definitely not for everybody. Try the, low, the lowest thermostat that you can find for here before you go into all this. And I wouldn't recommend drilling holes in thermostat no matter how small they are because it's the engine will warm up slower and it can still overheat because it still can't flow enough water. Um, so that's the solution guys, hopefully it helps somebody out. Uh, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please vote, please subscribe, hit that notification button, very important, and I'll see you again in the next video.